In this video, I'm going to talk about why is it that your dog barks at other dogs or other people or anything that it sees and how you can manage and control your dog. All that and more coming up. Hello dog lover, my name is Sarah, I'm a dog trainer, also coach dog owners. If this is your first time, welcome. So your dog barks at everything and anything that it sees, including dogs, people, anything that moves, cars and things like that. So it's better to understand why is it that your dog is doing that first, so we can have a better idea to solve this issue. There are many reasons why dogs bark. One of them is because of their breed. Some breeds have been bred to bark. They've been bred to communicate to us. So it's a form of communication. So that brings me to one of the reasons why dogs bark is communication. They're trying to tell us or tell other dogs or other people something. They're trying to communicate something. So that's one of the other reasons why dogs bark. The other reason is for warning. They're telling other dogs or other people or other creatures that, hey, don't come near me. I don't like you. I don't want to see you. I am afraid of you. I don't feel comfortable. They're just warning them. Could be because of also territorial barking that they're telling them, hey, this is my territory. This is my area. This is my home. I don't want you to come near me. The other reason is for attention. Hey, look. I'm, look at me, I'm over here. Hey, do you see me? I'm, I'm a, I do exist. Yay, look at me. That kind of attention seeking barking. So barking has many reasons. And one of the other reasons why dogs bark is excitement. They're celebrating or they're happy or they're just having a good time. You know, they're just celebrating because they're having a fun time. They're playing and they're barking. So the main reason why dogs, especially adult dogs, bark at everything, number one is because they're lacking social skills. Especially when they were puppies, they haven't had a good social skill training when they were between the ages of 10 weeks and four months. This is a very sensitive age that dogs and puppies, they tend to absorb a lot of information during this time. And it all depends on how the dog owner is going to use that opportunity to either teach or allow the puppy to learn positive experiences or negative experiences. Most puppies are not being socialized when they are young because many dog owners are being told that they need to have their shots before getting out in the real world. But the reality is that you don't have to wait until they're four months old or something like that or they had the last shot before you start socializing. You can socialize your dog as long as you take the right steps at any time, especially between the ages of 10 weeks and four months. We call this the window of opportunity. You want to take advantage and socialize your puppy as much as you can. So most dog owners, because they avoid socializing a puppy in this stage, this causes dogs to have lack of social skills and after that because puppies they didn't have a good social skills when they were young they are sensitive and they start reacting to everything that they see including dogs and people so dog owners they get even more stressed and scared so they block the dog from socializing even further so therefore when they are adult they are really becoming reactive to everything that they see, dogs, cars, people, anything. So now that your dog is an adult and sees other dogs or cars or whatever it causes them to be stressed, they are really anxious and stressed to maximum level. And that's when they start barking. They're really screaming for help. They're saying, I can't tolerate this. I don't know how to solve this situation. I'm really stressed, I'm really confused, I'm yelling and barking to tell other dogs and people to stay away from me. I'm stressed and I'm really anxious. So now you know why your dog is barking. So 
So in general, dogs are very communicative. They communicate in many ways. They communicate verbally, they communicate uh, with their body language. But the problem is that many dog owners, they don't have that communication line open with their dogs. What that means is many dog owners, they don't know that their dog is actually communicating and they assume the dog is barking, therefore the dog is ba behaving badly. But you have to understand that your dog is trying to say something, that is trying to communicate something. So don't punish your dog. You want your dog to bark actually. You want your dog to give that warning. You want your dog to celebrate. You want your dog to inform you what is happening in their mind, in their emotions, in their internal system. You know, something is happening. You want them to let you know. So never punish your dog because it's barking. You want to address the barking. So hopefully by understanding why your dog is barking, you can kind of have an idea of why your dog is barking and address it accordingly. So if your dog, for example, is warning, is giving the warning bark, what it means is, is communicating to somebody or some dog or some creature out there that, hey, I am here, don't want you to come near. If you come, I'm gonna attack, I'm gonna do something. Right? So they're giving that warning. So try to acknowledge that and let your dog know that you understand what's happening and address it with asking them to come to you or relax or change their mind and follow you. And if you see they're persisting and they're, they're not able to redirect their focus from whatever it is to you, just control it and manage it redirect the behavior to something else, change directions and move away from whatever is causing your dog to be stressed. That's not the time to train and teach your dog. So when it's a good time to train and teach your dog, the best time is when your dog is calm and relaxed. That's when your dog is able to take in information. That's the time that you can actually teach your dog. So you want to start teaching your dog the basics, to have some form of communication going on between you and your dog, so your dog can start paying attention to you and getting cues from you. Because when your dog is in that situation and is barking and something is bothering it, they are not able to focus on you because the only time that you start communicating to your dog or tell your dog to stop doing something is when they are misbehaving, when they are barking. Therefore, the only time that you have just try to communicate to them and tell them and that you love them and you want to help them is when they are barking. And because they are barking, they can hear you, they can sense you, they can feel you. Therefore, you don't get any results. I hope that makes sense. So you have to do it when your dog is calm and relaxed and teach your dog that this is the cue word when you get stressed I'm gonna give you this cue word I want you to pay attention to me so you have to practice this and teach your dog beforehand and then expect them to listen to you or get cues from you in the real scenario so I highly suggest you to go back to basics to train them the basic obedience practice with your dog the basics once again if you haven't done for a long time it's a good opportunity to refresh your dog's memory about communication and the basics teach them the cue word that will help you to help your dog and calm your dog when they get in certain situation and also that will help your dog to have a communication and start paying attention to you to get cues from you. Start implementing these ideas and let me know and give me some feedback as soon as you put this information to work and if you're seeing any results. So tip number one, prevention is the key. You know your dog better than anybody else. You know that your dog will bark for certain reason, in certain situations, in certain conditions, in certain locations. You know that it's gonna bark. So you wanna prevent your dog from getting into that environment or situation that is gonna bark. So don't put your dog in that situation that is going to bark. So prevent the situation from happening. Tip number two, don't let your dog to practice that unwanted behavior over and over again. Limit your dog's environment and the situation. For example, you know the mailman comes at nine o'clock 
and your dog goes crazy. So prevent your dog from getting to that zone that it expects the mailman at nine o'clock. So remove it from the front door to somewhere else so it doesn't see or hear the mailman. For example, if your dog is watching outside of the window and checks and sees who comes around and who goes around or waits for anybody to walk by and then starts barking, then prevent your dog from getting to that zone, that environment, or by the window. Don't let your dog to watch outside. Don't come up with excuses that you can't cover the window, you can't do anything about it. There's always a solution. You can hang a low curtain on the bottom of the window so your dog has no access viewing outside. You can put your dog in a different room. You can also leash your dog and do whatever you're doing. If you're in the kitchen, your dog could be in the kitchen. If you are in the office, your dog could be in the, in the office. Uh, on a leash. If your dog is barking at uh, people who are coming as soon as the doorbell goes off and your dog starts barking, then we go to the next tip. Tip number three. You want to manage your dog in that moment. If your dog is barking and you're yelling at your dog to stop barking, you're joining your dog. You're barking as well. The reason your dog is barking is because either is not clear of what it's supposed to do in that situation or you have not communicated clearly to your dog of what it's supposed to do when certain situations happen. Which brings me to tip number four. Teach your dog a cue for when your dog is doing something wrong. It could be any word, it could be anything. You better word it, you could better ask your dog to listen to you when you're saying something. This word can be anything, it could be stop it, could be no, could be cucumber, could be anything. But you need to have taught this cue to your dog beforehand. Your dog has to be familiar with this cue. So the, your dog knows and thinks when I'm barking or when I'm doing this behavior, when I hear this cue, I gotta stop. Teach your dog or practice what you want your dog to do when is doing something wrong and replace that behavior that unwanted behavior with the behavior that you want so you're giving options to a dog to do something other than barking which brings me to tip number five provide something else for the dog to do if you don't want your dog to bark teach it or let it know to do something else instead for example you can teach your dog to sit and stay or play on command so the dog associates, so when I hear this, when I see this, when I feel this, this is what I'm supposed to do. When I hear the doorbell, I sit or I get to play with my dad or mom. Now I have a bonus tip as well. So you need to understand the reason your dog is barking is because in a way your dog is interacting with that situation, with that whatever is happening it interacts with it. for example the dog sees a mailman coming it starts barking is interacting with the mailman and then all of a sudden the mailman is gone so the interaction works people are passing by the window i bark i interact with them people pass by and they're gone interaction stops the doorbell goes off i bark people come in they play with me they pet me I interact with them. So there is some form of interaction happening when the dog is barking. So you need to interact with your dog before, during and after the behavior repeats. So your puppy is barking all night. So the first thing that I suggest you to do is do a physical checkup just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with your dog physically and, and uh, you know health wise. If you're not sure what to do, maybe take your puppy to the vet and let them do a physical check to see if there's anything physically wrong with your dog or not. That is not the very common reason why puppies bark all night, but it's better to make sure that that's not the reason and and think about some other options. The other reason could be because your dog didn't have enough physical and mental stimulation during the day. So what you want to do is provide your dogs or your puppies 
daily five essential needs which are exercise, training, socialization, care and then affection. And hopefully by providing those five daily essential needs your puppy is going to be more relaxed mentally and physically tired to lie down and sleep. And the other reason is maybe because you're placing your puppy's crate or bed or the kennel at the wrong place. What I mean by that is most puppies they like to be by you uh, when they're sleeping. In the old times most professionals would suggest to separate the puppy, put it in a crate or a kennel and then put it in some other room uh, to let them cry all night or whatever. But we have learned that doing that is going to cause your puppy to develop a lot of mental and emotional issues in the future. So it's better not to do that. You want to place your puppy in the bed or in the crate or the kennel by your bed at night and let your puppy see and feel you and smell you at night while trying to sleep. By being in the same room and by having you on their side and in their view, that will help them to be more relaxed and fall asleep. Puppies in general, they're lacking that confidence. By having you in the same room and them being able to view you and see you and feel you and uh, feel your energy, they feel more confident and also you will build a healthier relationship with your puppy in future as well. If you want to become an educated dog lover and have a healthy and happy well-behaved dog, consider subscribing to my channel and join my online dog training course where we use play and praise reward system to train our dogs. If you have any questions, leave those questions in the comments area. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share, and also comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Until next time, have fun with your dog.